Hey Pisces, <clears throat> welcome back to the channel guys. If you are new, you are welcome. Pisces, this is the deck called Tarot of Opposition. It's like it has the upright and the reverse on the same card. So let's see what is going on for Pisces. What are you dealing with, right? Or who or what is in your energy? Or just what are you dealing with solo? Pisces, you've been through an ending, right? You've been through an ending. Uh, so Ten of Swords in reverse, it's like you're you're praying your way out of it now. You're thawing out from whatever happened. Um, you've definitely been you've definitely been through an ending, right? But it's looking up for you now, like you're coming out of it. You could be healing from it. You could be. You're definitely praying. Pisces, I don't know if you're praying for a second chance with this person, uh, praying for a second chance for another chance after this ending. You, there's an empress here, Pisces. I think you're probably wanting a second chance with this empress. Um, it could be family, it's the Ten of Pentacles here. I don't know if you're trying to build up a, a, a family with this person. But you're definitely coming out of something, like the worst part. I don't know if you're going back to this person or trying to go back to them. But you prayed yourself up out of an ending. And you're maybe you're praying that you can get this Empress back uh, by offering them a Ten of Pentacles. By offering them something more. Let's see, what is this? So Pisces, after an ending, you're moving on. You're choosing to move on. You're choosing to move on. You're an empress. You're choosing to move on, Pisces, because they involved other people, five of wands, and you're just tired of arguing with this person, tired of fighting with this person, tired of being put in competitions with this person. But you're having a hard decision about moving forward. Yeah, you're having a hard time deciding whether you want to move forward or not. I think this was your Ten of Pentacles. Pisces, this person betrayed you. Like, they betrayed you, Pisces, but you've healed from it. You're moving on. Like, you know they betrayed you. You're manifesting the life that you want instead of arguing with this person over and over again. You're just starting to manifest the life that you want. It's like you're not going to sit uh, in this energy. Yeah, Six of Swords, you're moving on. You're moving on from some betrayal. It took you a while to thaw out from this, Pisces. It's like you prayed just yourself up out of this. You're an empress. You're coming in as an empress. They betrayed you, Pisces, with the Queen of Swords. Somebody who hides their sword behind their back. Angry, a bitter person. A very jealous person. And... It's like you're up in your head, Pisces. You're still up in your head about, I think you probably can't believe that this happened to you. Like you, you, just, you still can't believe this happened to you. Even though you're manifesting your way out, you still couldn't believe it. This was overindulgence, Pisces. They had a lot of options. They had a lot of different options, too many. They could have been drinking a lot as well. <clears throat> but they had a lot of options. Now let me see, which one is the one of opposition? I'm trying to tell which one's the difference. Pisces, you're the queen of pentacles. Okay, I can see the difference. You're the queen of pentacles, Pisces. So they cheated with you, and this woman or this man or whoever they cheated with you with 
Pisces, this person is very bitter, very angry. But the person that you're walking away from, because you're the empress here, Pisces, this person wants you back. It's an emperor. But you're up in your head about this person, Pisces. It's like you quite haven't made a decision yet. And you're frustrated. You're frustrated with what they brought to you, Pisces, but you're you're on top of these frustrations, like you're dealing with it. You know you're moving, you know you're moving on. This could have been a family thing. Ten of Pentacles, but you're definitely checking out from it, Pisces. This was a, a higher level of commitment. But they didn't invest, Pisces, in this connection. They didn't invest in this connection. It's like they didn't give anything to it. And the frustration comes, Pisces, because they was offering their love to someone else. Yeah, they cheated. They were offering their love to someone else and not giving to the connection that they were currently in. And I think it took you a while, Pisces, to heal from this. Pisces, you may have new love offers coming in from a Knight of Pentacles, somebody who has their stuff in order. They're slow moving, but they're still coming in. So you may get a new love offer. Yeah, after you heal from this um, Ace of Swords, and you will, it's like Pisces, they put the sword in your back and you took it out. You snatched the sword out your back, right? You snatched the sword out your back. This is a Nine of Pentacles. Whoever this person is, you're probably going to be sharing. You can share with this person. Pisces, you can give to this person. They will give back. They are single and abundant too. So you just took the sword out your back, Pisces, because you're headed to victory. You're headed to victory some kind of a way. And you're going to get a new love offer, Two of Cups. You may accept a new love offer, Pisces. It just took you some time to heal from the situation. Pisces, and this new love offer, this victory, this is going to bring you a Ten of Cups. This is a Ten of Cups. And you're dropping your burdens. It's like you're just letting it all go. You're dropping your burdens. And whatever situation you was in, Pisces, you're moving on. And you just thawed out. It took you some while, a while to thaw out from a situation. But when you finally did, um, you're moving on. Yeah, five of swords. All is not lost, Pisces. They tried it. But see, you're still walking away with three swords. It's like you're drawing the line in the sand. It's like you're done fighting with this person. Um, they tried to get you, you got them back, you know, just by walking away. So you still had the upper hand. They cheated you, they played you, but you still have the upper hand. Because of all of this injustice, it was just unfairness, Pisces. Unfairness and you sitting around being sad, but eventually you, you came up out of it. Pisces, you do have... A four of wands coming in. Something that's going to offer you more stability and balance. Six of pentacles. So you're going to be offered more stability and more balance, Pisces, in this new connection here from this uh, love offer that you're going to get. You're just not standing in your strength right now. Maybe you're unsure about the offer, but they're going to give it to you anyway. Three of cups, Pisces. With this person, you will have a reason to celebrate. Whoever this new energy is, you will have reasons to celebrate with this person. It's a knight of swords. And Pisces, they are rushing in to get to you with a new beginning, with a new offer. Ace of Wands in the upright. So they're rushing in, Pisces, to give you a new offer. Someone's coming in, baby. You have new love coming in. And you're releasing your attachments and your addictions to whoever this person was, this devil here, the devilish energy, all that fake enticing energy. It's like you're you're releasing yourself from that. And you found you found balance in your life, Pisces. You you found balance. 
Look, look at you, Pisces. This is good. It took you a while, though, to thaw out. Holy Spirit, who is this Queen of Swords? In reverse. Pisces, this person wants to talk to you. They have something to say. Whoever that King of Swords is, they have something they want to say to you. What do they want to say to Pisces? Holy Spirit. This person is very deceptive, Pisces. They're very sneaky. I told you uh, this person is mean. So uh, you're not going to talk to them. Don't talk to this person, Pisces. Hell no. You're not talking to them. Pisces, they're mad at you because somebody's either coming back to you. Eight of Cups in reverse. Pisces, this person wants to talk to you about whoever this person is that's coming to you is probably someone from your past. So they're upset about this person coming back. Clarify this Eight of Cups. So it looks like the woman in this situation, Pisces, wants to come and talk to you. Somebody wants to come and talk to you. But you're not going to talk to them. Like, you're on the other side of this. You're not talking to this person. The hell you will. No. No. This person, whoever this person is, Pisces, that wants to talk to you, their ex is going to try to create delays for you and for that person. So they want to come and talk to you. Mm. People, please. That's crazy. Yeah, they're going to try to create delays in your new connection with their ex. But see, Pisces, you're not in hermit. You're wide awake. You see this person for who they are. Don't talk to them, Pisces. Don't take their call. Don't even text them back and forth. Don't talk to this person. You're on to something great. You got the will of fortune coming in, and their ex is jealous, and they need to heal with this three of swords. Their heart is broken. It's not your problem. Pisces, in the beginning, your heart was broken by your person, right? And you healed and you thawed out from it. Look at this photo. You thawed out. Before, Pisces, you were stuck all up in your head, but you prayed yourself up out of it. You prayed for guidance. You prayed for love. I just saw 12-12. So you prayed yourself up out of it. And the person that's coming to you, Pisces, is also coming out of a situation. And their ex wants to talk to you. I just saw one, two, two, two. Their ex wants to talk to you. No. Pisces, you're, you're not talking to no exes. You're not talking to no exes. This person's moving on. Somebody's not following their intuition. Somebody's not following their intuition. It's a Queen of Wands in reverse. Pisces, this person is upset. They're upset about this ending here. It's like this person, whoever, the person that's coming to you, whoever they're walking away from, she doesn't want to believe it's over. She doesn't want to believe it's over. Yeah, she doesn't want to believe it's over with a King of Cups in reverse. She doesn't believe that this person is taking her love back. That's that's they mess, Pisces. But things will be revealed. Things probably were revealed about this person. They had secrets on them. Uh, maybe this king found out secrets, Pisces. That's none of your business, right? Yeah. So this king here is having to make a head over heart decision because of whatever this 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 person did. And they're on the other side of the tower, like it's done. They're over it. Pisces, you have a new lover coming in. You do. You have a new lover coming in. Or someone that's coming back to you. Right? Yeah, Pisces, they're coming back. They're tired of being left out in the cold. Somebody wants you back. They're coming in with passion as well. Their ex is mad. They're giving up on something. They're not pursuing something anymore, Pisces. Like, it's over. They're not up in their head anymore. They see you as the Queen of Cups. Very loving. So, Pisces, two things happen here. You heal from being played or whatever. And then it took you a while to thaw out. And you finally did. But then you have someone from your past is coming back, right? And whoever they were with, their ex, wants to talk to you about their ex that's come to you know what I mean Pisces it's it's like I how can I explain it I know y'all get it like say I just met somebody new and they had an ex 
And so now their ex wants to talk to me. Pisces, don't talk to that person. You don't have anything to say to them about anything, right? If they're not sharing kids and you're stepmommy, stepdaddy, there's nothing to say to another person. It, it's really not. All is fair is love. All is fair in love and war and respect on all fronts, right? What used to be yours isn't yours anymore. Vice versa. People got to learn and move on. Pisces, if you do talk to this person, tell them how you thought out too. Say, you know what? Say, I was in the same house you was in before. And honey, baby, mister, uh, you need to fix that on yourself. It's not the other person, right? If your man or your woman leaves you, it's for a reason. And your job is to figure out what that reason was. But my thing, by the time you get to the ending, you know what the fuck happened. You do. You do. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.